Hello, my name is Alex Schneider. I'm a technician's assistant at Schneider TV. We are a Samson certified repair center. And today I'm going to give a, a walkthrough of how this Samsung um, UHD curved smart TV works. This set, model number of unit H55AG with 7250. It means that it's by ear is a L Samsung LED 55 meaning 55 inch HS generation and this is late 2014 in mid 2015 views UHD and 7250 means it is of the 7200 series set and it's Input outputs, which are referred to as the jack panel, include two USB 2.0s, one USB 3, four HDMIs, including a digital audio out over ARC, a regular coaxial for digital well, over the air antenna signals, a component composite is it a gigabit ethernet out a infrared out for a oh, so the TV itself can control well, a cable or satellite like set top box and a, a optical out oh, for audio as well you're going to put down a piece of foam provided by Samsung to protect the panel, and then put a blanket over it for further protection of the surface of it. Once we put it on its face, we will then remove <coughs> all the screws from the back in order to take off the, the base and back panel. This is the power supply. It takes 120 volts of, uh, of alternating current from your standard wall outlet into the currents to power the TV. The, the indirect current, it has one out straight to the panel panel, and then another that goes to the main board. The main board itself is, uh, is effectively a computer where all the input outputs are or, or, it, or it has a microprocessor on it equivalent to a smartphone from just a few years ago well it needs the power to both both playback media locally the, the decode both from video sources over HDMI and to do streaming over the network over services like Netflix and Amazon. Each TV has two speakers. You may notice they're a little small. Well, they're small so it can keep its light form factor. Connected to the main also is the jog switch or manual controls on the TV. And then further down here is the an IR sensor. Here's the Wi-Fi module to connect to your home Wi-Fi network and the Bluetooth module for its Bluetooth remote and any other accessories including Bluetooth headphones or a keyboard. The main board itself then takes the signal over these two LVDS ribbon cables into the timing control or frame rate control board, or, and after which it is then sent to, it is then made into the picture for the panel, well, at either 120 or 240 hertz. 
and now you're going to reinstall the back panel in base before removing <coughs> the blanket and foam wedge. We're going to start our plugging back in our connections, starting with the with the HDMI to cable, which I'm going to plug into HDMI one. And for an internet connection, we're going to connect this Ethernet cable cable into the LAN port, or because it is we because we are close enough to a LAN connection. And it is faster, sure, and more reliable than using the Wi-Fi. And now, finally, we are going to reconnect the power. We're going to start re the re resetting the TV using the Samsung service remote. Select the option Factory Reset. When we, this is reset, it will turn off the TV and we will manually turn it. This is the first time startup screen user will see when they first turn on the set. We're going to set the language for English and set RDV Tax a wired connection. It will not ask for a preferred network or for a password. We will agree to the terms and conditions. Yes, we're using a cable box. specifically charter. However, we are not going to have the TV control using the external IR blaster. It will now check online to see if there is a new revision TV software to be installed, which there is not, so now we will leave setup and go to HDMI 1 where the cable box is connected. We will now calibrate the set for the best picture possible. Since Service Remote does not have a dedicated hub button, we will access the Smart Hub through the menu. To test both streaming and to showcase 4K video to the customer, we will go to the YouTube app and play a video that was recorded in Ultra HD.
Keep in mind, do it however you will not be able to see all the details of the case of this video is only recorded in 1080. You will now exit the YouTube app and return back to HDMI 1. This has been my teardown and walkthrough for a Samsung UHD Smart TV. I hope you have enjoyed and learned something from this video.